Street, huh? Hey everybody, Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net. Got another really, 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 really nice treat to bring you this week, folks. 1992 Cadillac Brome Triple Black. This car is a beautiful, beautiful example. Now, if you missed back in January, the last 92 triple black brome that I had, and you regret not stepping up to the plate and ponying up some dough on that one, here is your chance. Ironically, in the same year, I've had two triple black 92 bromes. Um, and in all my time of doing this, this is the second triple black brome I've ever had. Uh, so for them both, both to be in the same year, uh, both 92s, both 5.7 liter cars, uh, that's pretty cool for me. I'm really excited to bring you this car. This is a 53,000 mile example. As you can see, it still wears its original Royal Seal, Uniroyal puncture seal and tires. Uh, probably not too effective anymore. And before you go in the comments and start lighting me up for saying, oh, the tires are too old. Of course they are. They're original. But when it comes to cars and collectability, they're only original once. So I could very easily take the tires off, throw them in a tire recycler bin, and put a new set of white walls or Vogues or whatever you want to put on. But I'm going to leave that up to the next person because it's something that I can't reverse. Once the tires are off and gone, they're off and gone. Those tires have been on the car since it was new, and they show the heritage and the condition of this car, and that's why they're still on the car. So I get it. I understand. Full disclaimer. If you want to drive this car, if you want to drive the wheels off this car, you need to replace the tires. Tires are original. They're puncture sealing tires, but 30 years later, they're what we call May Pops. Actually, they're probably more like Will Pops. Uh, <laughs> you know, but they're original. I'm going to show you some close up shots of this car. Like I said, 92, it's triple black. Uh, I got all the keys, gold keys. I have the original window sticker build sheet I found underneath the uh, driver's seat when I was doing a recliner repair. Uh, original black vinyl top. I have the books, manuals, all that good stuff. Original floor mats. And like I said, this is a 5.7 liter car. So 92 was the last year for this body style before they switched over to the 93 vintage, 93 to 96. Uh, so this is this is kind of the one to have last year black 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 and it's got that big 5.7 liter v8 i'm gonna go around the car show you a couple little flaws little chips and dings nothing really crazy on this car like i said this is a really really nice example but she is old <laughs> so there are some marks here you can see a little bit of a scratch that was touched up a couple little minor chips but you can see how beautiful that paint is hey uh, beautiful painted pinstripe down the side of the car has your original uh, door edge guards coloring in the crest is really nice beautiful vinyl top top shows really nice I don't have any um, conditioners or anything on the top this is the natural top really nice shape has the stainless vent shades on the outside, all the chrome, glass, beautiful. It does have a very tiny ding that, you know what? When I got this car in, I said, oh my goodness, I can swap that out because I have those pieces. And I don't know how I overlooked, overlooked, overlooked that, but I am gonna go back to my shop. Look at how beautiful that car is. I'm gonna go back to my shop and I should have that piece that I can put on there. All the gray cladding on the bottom is in really nice shape. A few little minor, you know, door checks. Uh, but really nice, shows really well. A little bit of a guy right there. Original factory power antenna works perfectly. You can see the black paint just glistening in the sun. There's one of those Uniroyal Royal Seal tires. Now the difference between the Royal Seal and the Vogue is the Royal Seal has the yellow on the inside where the Vogue has the white, it's basically reversed. Very minor curb rash on that hubcap right there but very nice. 
Come around to the front here. It's got the headlight monitors, really cool. Come around the front corner. Very, very minor abrasion right on that bumper. Uh, trim there, chrome on the front end is really nice. Has those beautiful European style headlights. A couple minor scratches right on that guy there. Look at that paint on the hood. Car is in real nice shape. Beautiful black. I think they call it sable black or black sable. I'll have to take a look at the window sticker on this one. Uh, but very nice shape. Just shows minor, you know, life. Very minor scratches here. And then you can see how clean the black paint is. Uh, but it does show, you know, it's beautifully polished. But nothing's perfect, folks does have a little bit of a dimple that was actually a dent and I had my PDR guy come and take it out that was touched up right there on the fender another one of those Royal Seal Uniroyal tires again have to be replaced folks if you plan on driving this car black paint down the side here all the beautiful gray cladding down the bottom a couple little marks on this door right here these two that were touched up before I got the car it looks like they might have touched up this trim a couple little spots uh that should have been like a flat it's like a flat black glass is in really nice shape very minor little you know not chips like crack chips but just very minor pits we'll say i think that's the correct term vinyl top shows beautiful side here look how straight this car is chrome is all in really nice shape again door edge guards painted pinstripe all the way down the side emblems show really nicely all the wheel well openings look how clean those are and then all the chrome on the bottom is in really nice shape because it probably had those uh, mud flaps on since it was new now the beautiful royal seal tire yeah. Come down the back here. A little minor chip in the paint right on the edge of that bumper uh, filler. And if you look kind of, yeah, you can kind of see it. Uh, aside from my fat ass, you can see kind of a few little spider cracks in that filler. Uh, probably from like maybe pressure being applied to it. Paint on the trunk lid, again, beautiful. Very minor light scratch here or there. You know, it's black, shows everything, but I mean, look how deep it is with the clouds above it in that rear window. Love that limousine style reduced rear window. I absolutely love the tail lights on these bromes. Don't know how I missed that, but that will definitely come off. Uh, you go around a car a million times, <laughs> and it doesn't matter how many times you go around it, you always miss things. But the chrome on the Bumper is in really nice shape. Again, that beautiful painted stripe. And again, you can see how clean the paint is on this 92 Brome. Absolutely gorgeous. 53,000 mile example. So I'm gonna uh, bring her in the shade. It's getting kind of hot out here. I'm gonna pull her up a little bit. Let's take a look inside this car. All right, folks, let's take a look inside this Brome absolutely beautiful black leather interior i want to bring inside but before i do i want to remind you to hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner give me a thumbs up if you love these cars let me know what you think in the comments as always i love hearing from my customers i love hearing from my fans buyer or a looker window shopper whoever you are you're important to me let's take a look inside this car. and of course inside is just as nice as the outside Take a look in the door jam there. Absolutely beautiful. No rust on the bottom of these doors. Really clean carpeting, the leather all inside the jam here. The plastic covering is really clean. No cracks. Beautiful seat belt. I mean, it's in the details really of these cars. Armrest, no splits or cracks, but it's still nice and soft. All the buttons and stuff for the power seat. Old school GM pulls uh door pulls take a look you see that big beautiful cadillac dash you know that really they didn't change much from 1977 till now i mean the wood tones have changed 
Obviously the digital displays have changed. You know, they updated it as they went along, but <laughs> they haven't changed much. Uh, beautiful leather wrap steering wheel as well. We'll get more into the details uh, when I get back around to the front here. You can see the carpeting shows really nice. Take a look at the back seat here. Getting that jam real clean. Oh, threshold nice and clean. Come around the side here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love how they have the brome inscription in the door. Now, the thing that was really crazy about these Cadillacs is how many places, like I can't, I don't even know how many places there's the Cadillac symbol. Cadillac, Cadillac. I'm really surprised they don't have it here. They did in the 80s, you know, Cadillac. They had it up on the sill uh, panels there, the sail panels. You know, Cadillac, Cadillac, there's Cadillac everywhere. And even on the buckles, Cadillac. Just to let you know that you're driving a fine quality GM product. Look at beautiful carpeting, really fresh. Nice pockets in the back there. Beautiful black leather interior. Take a look on the passenger side. Whoop. Got that trunk, we'll pop that open for later. Beautiful rear door, again, a nice and clean. You see this little guy here, that little piece of plastic? That is factory installed, so when they put these moldings on, they put these little pieces of plastic right on the edge, so this chrome wouldn't scratch the paint when they put those on. Nice and clean inside the jam. Again, the sill plate, door jam. Does have a replaced headliner that was done very recently. Uh, rear sail panels as well. Again, beautiful carpeting. Nice and thick. Big heavy doors. I love these big heavy doors. Nice and clean. in that beautiful black leather interior. Large center console armrest with the flip out cup holder. Dashboard is in nice shape, no cracks uh, or splits in the top of the dash pad, which, you know, for a black car is pretty impressive. Uh, you know, that was a very common spot. Carpeting, it's got the original litter bin down there. Black leather is really nice door panel here. Well, all the vinyl is in really nice shape. All the chrome buttons show really well. And again, no cracks in the armrests. Let's take a look under the hood and in the trunk. And then I'm going to start it up and show you some of the uh, some of the uh, features inside this car. Inside the trunk, you can see I got all the floor mats, driver side, passenger side, still has the uh, Little Cadillac crest again. Another spot to show you <laughs> what you're driving. You're driving a Cadillac all inside the jam here. Really clean. The fillers. These are original fillers on this car. And out of all these bromes that I've had in recent years, you know, these things are just perfect. Not cloudy, very flexible. Again, just shows you how well kept this car was. The climate that it was stored in wasn't too humid. Got the jacking instructions, the original uh, dealer or uh, factory option tag. Uh, all inside the jam there, nice and clean. Both sides. And of course, the power trunk pull down. Works perfectly. Let's take a look under the hood of that 5.7 liter V8. Up. really clean under here as well just very minor surface rust on some of the chassis components uh, you know but all the nuts and bolts show really nicely it does have like you know the original hoses hose clamps uh, the washer fluid filter uh, bottle is in really nice shape 
all the GM hoses, the vacuum hoses, uh, level ride, windshield wipers, and there's that big 5.7 liter fuel injected uh, air cleaner. Got a nice uh, Napa battery here. Headlight uh, instructions. Looks like it's got a newer AC compressor. The AC has been retrofitted to 134, blows ice cold. And there's the plug for the uh, power antenna. Works perfectly, really clean. Even the uh, material not torn up. A little dirty, you know, just from age, but really nice shape. She closes down perfectly absolutely gorgeous car let's get behind the wheel all right now this is where all the nice detail comes in you can see here i have both uh, original sets of gm keys even in these cool old school um cadillac keychains uh this one is the original gold set of keys <laughs> what's really cool is it, see how it's chiming right there that tells you that those keys are nice and crisp and not worn out 53,000 miles. She starts right up. 5.7 liter fuel injected, 350. Got the AC on. We're gonna turn that on low so you can hear me. I wanna show you some of the paperwork that I have here. Got the original owner's manual, uh, dealer maintenance brochure. You can see there, there's some intervals. I don't know if those were service intervals. I'm, I'm really not sure. Uh, this is the build sheet that I found underneath the driver's seat. Uh, when I was servicing the uh, power recliners got the original uh, Hubcap key in the bag and then there's the most important one of them all Bring it over here for better viewing is the original window sticker uh, 5.7 liter throttle body injected sable black black leather and you can see some of the options that this car was optioned with the brome option B package mirror illuminated vanities drunk lid pull down sentinel uh, leather seating area, $570. A lot of people don't realize that leather, uh, you know, everybody thought that the leather was standard in these cars. They're not. Uh, the wire disc hubcaps, $445. Another thing that most people think was standard were not. 5.7 liter engine was only 250 bucks. I mean, that's crazy, really. Uh, auto daylight, uh, daytime rear view mirror right up there. Grand total of $34,000 with destination charge. And she was sold brand new out of Arnold Palmer Motors in Pennsylvania. So really cool to have all this stuff with the car. It's a really neat packet of information. Tells a little bit about the history, but you know, it also tells you that somebody really cared about this car uh, to keep all that stuff. So we're gonna close the door here. And get power seats working. Our windows they all work get the original GM radio know what we're listening to power antenna works perfectly Twilight Sentinel all your windshield wipers and stuff like that. Now I did mention uh, just a little while ago that I just serviced the power reclining seats on both sides. Uh, it's very common with these cars that the power recliners on these, which is that last button, 90 to 92 had power recliners on both sides. Uh, it's very common that they, just from lack of using really, that they get kind of uh, frozen and they, they, they don't work essentially. You can kind of hear the motor clicking in there. Uh, very serviceable part. You know, a little bit of, you know, time to take the skin, essentially the bottom part of the seat skin off to service the uh, power mechanisms like the little transmission. But uh, very important, obviously, for comfortable driving. Uh, that's not flickering like it looks like it's on the uh, camera here. Like I explained in almost every one of my videos. Got that big Cadillac hood. The big Cadillac emblem in the middle. Really a pleasure to drive these big bromes. I mean, they're absolute boats. But, you know, I drove one of these in high school. So to me, this really isn't a big car. Everybody's like, oh, I can't believe you drive a big car like that. You know, you, when you get so used to something, it doesn't, you know, it's not 
like different or, or odd. It sticks out to you. I'm used to it. It's normal to me. Uh, so these cars, it's like, to me, this is like driving like a little Volkswagen. But she runs smoothly down the road. Did just do a little bit of service. Just has a fresh oil change. All the brakes have been replaced. Front pads and rotors. Uh, the rear drums. The rear shoes. Hardware kit. And the wheel cylinders were just replaced. Uh, she's a turnkey car. Ice cold air. Has been retrofitted. New black headliner. Very common. All the common points of this car have been serviced. And are ready to go really so this is a nice turnkey car a little bit of wear on the top of the steering wheel probably from uh you know grabbing it or whatever but shows really nicely this is a real nice investment quality car now it seems like these cars have spiked in value over the last really over the last year i mean if you remember back in january i listed one of these no reserve on ebay and it absolutely blew my mind what the car did. It blew my mind so much of how much money the car was bringing that I reluctantly ended the auction early. And, you know, maybe I should touch on that for a minute while I brought it up. You know, that car, I wasn't expecting that car to do what that car did for money. And that was kind of the first of two triple black bromes that like blew records this uh, this year for 2021. My black one is sold for $42,000 on eBay. When it was up in that $42,000 range, I was super nervous. I'm like, no way this car is gonna sell for this. You know, I was emailing all the people that were, were bidding on it and I, some people were responding to me. I had a lot of people that weren't responding. And it, you know, I had a few people over that 40,000 range and I just said, you know what? Hey, are you truly interested in following through? Two people told me, yeah, but you know what? We're kind of tapped out. No more bids from us. And then I had one guy who didn't respond to me. I was kind of a little freaked out about that. And one guy who did said, I'm interested. I want the car. You know, will you sell it to me? Obviously, one in the hand is better than two in the bush, especially when it comes to eBay. eBay is one of those places that there's no security for me for the seller, uh, you know, to, to guarantee the sale. And I wanted a guaranteed sale. And when it surpassed my expectation, I had to take a guaranteed sale. This car, it's gonna get listed. Price is down in the description. Take a look at the description of this video. Not the title, but the description. Also, go on my website, specialtymotorcars.net. Pictures, link to the video, which you're obviously you're seeing right now. And then uh, price is all listed there. I'm very transparent. I don't wanna hide anything. It's not a uh, you know, clickbait type thing. Uh, so take a look in the description. My name is Anthony, specialtymotorcars.net. If you have any questions about this car, you're interested in this car, you want to get this car shipped to you, I can ship it anywhere in the country. I can ship it outside the country. Uh, Middle East, you name it, this car can go anywhere. 92, title in hand for export, not a problem. Uh, I can help you arrange anything you need. Collector car financing. I can arrange that or, or not arrange it, but I can help you assist with that. Uh, if you need financing for a vehicle, check me out on uh, all my social media platforms, Specialty Motor Cars NH on Instagram and Facebook, Specialty Motor Cars. Like I said, I'm here up in Pelham, New Hampshire. I appreciate everybody for watching. Thank you for your continued support. Check out, check out my other inventory. Take a look at some of my old videos if you're new to the channel. And uh, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. We'll talk to you on the next one.